there's nobody here. No, there's gentlemen wearing hats from the wars that they fought. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The thing I'm most excited about this season is how we explore the Fran and Annie friendship. As much as this season might feel like it's about dating, the endless heartbeat is her friendship. Titty down this way. Tits yeah. down, face up a little bit. One tit up, one tit yeah. down. Annie is trying to find her own confidence and her own value within herself. Their relationship is kind of a foundation for everything else in their lives. Fran's inspired by Annie taking control in her work life. Fran kind of wants to do the same. This is what I'm thinking. This is Bob Marley. Don't know if you've ever heard of cultural appropriation. Oh, I love culture. I'm going to ask you to leave. Nothing personal. It's just that we hate you here. She decides she's sick of doing hair at their house, and she goes and takes a job at a salon. She is figuring out what she wants. So now you're the queen of hair, and I'm 29 under 29 fat hotties with naughty bodies. <laughs> oh. It introduces this transition into real adulthood. With work troubles and friendship troubles, it's like when one thing is settled, another thing needs more attention. And then also Annie does certain things that kind of test their friendship a little bit. And I got you this. Just to say sorry again. It says dumb white witch. It was supposed to say bitch, but the bakery said no, so it just says witch now. How can you maintain the kind of all-consuming friendship that these two have had while also having really serious romantic partners? They've both come to a place where they realize maybe our codependence could become negative when it comes to trying to include other relationships. Do you think that we use each other as a crutch? No. If it's time for you to move on and move in with your partner and build a life with them, yeah. you can't be college girls living in your shared house anymore. Oh, I think I'm in a wet spot. Don't oh, worry about that. Yeah. I love you guys. It changes the dynamic of your friendship, and there's a piece of it that feels like you have to grow up and let go of that person in some way. But it stays strong overall. Your gal pals are always there for you. Who's my baby forever? Me. Who's forever my baby? Me. <laughs> Is Em going to do that with you? No, we make love. Yeah. Mm. Even if they have moments of misunderstanding each other, they meet back and hold each other to a higher standard, push each other and encourage each other. Excuse me, this is our home, not some kind of photo shoot for cute models. Look, I don't know what oh. you're talking about.